Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be looking at creating scoreboards in Bungie Core. Now this is really great because this will be a scoreboard that will be, uh, you'll be able to use throughout your all your servers, right? So if you want to have a universal scoreboard, say you have just uh, survival, but it has multiple worlds, you can keep the same scoreboard without having to reset up a scoreboard every single time. So in Bungie Cord, it is done with packets. Uh, I don't believe there is an API out right now that allows for it just to be done with normal code without packets. Um, but it is pretty easy. Uh, it's probably about 19 lines of code or so, or like 20 lines of code or so. Um, and we're just going to do it in a command, so it's going to give us our scoreboard after we cast the command. So I have already set this up. This has already been set up from previous videos. Uh, so if you don't know anything about bunch of court commands, uh, just go over to my video and you will quickly find out. So once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you guys are having some trouble, go over there, check it out. Pretty easy stuff. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first is obviously we're gonna call proxy player. Uh, we're gonna check to see if the command sender is an instance of proxy player right here, just so we can make sure that a player is casting this command because obviously if a player is not, then well, they can't do it um, because uh, it has to be a player to send it because it's with packets. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and say player player equals and then instance proxy player over command sender and we got it okay so first things now you can do this a couple different ways you don't have to do it the way that i'm going to do it you can do it all in one line when you do this with the, the scoreboard objectives and display and scoreboard score um i just think it's better to do it separately it looks cleaner it's easier to edit and it doesn't have these super long lines of code that stretch like all the way out to there uh so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say scoreboard objective objective equals new scoreboard objective okay pretty pretty easy so far <clears throat> next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say we're going to give our objective a name or an id so we're going to say set name and we're just going to call this test that's pretty standard name you can name it whatever you want it's just how you're going to identify that objective and we're going to set the action and now the action is basically like the the mode, right? So the action is how you what you want to do with the scoreboard. So down below I'll have the protocol linked so you can understand what I'm talking about. But zero would be to actually create the scoreboard. If you put a one, you're actually going to be removing the scoreboard. And two, you're going to actually update the display text. So keep that in mind. So we're going to set the action <clears throat> as a byte zero. Next one is we're going to set the value or the title. So the value is the title. Uh, and we're just going to say YouTube. <clears throat> and now you can do colors in this. I'm not going to just for quickness sake. And now the type is this is also really important. So only if you are using mode zero or two can you have these in there you either can have to you either can put integer or hearts integers if you want it to use integers and hearts as if you want it to be hearts um so keep that in mind okay so the next thing uh so all right so we gotta actually type this one out first objective set type and we're just gonna say integer okay and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say player dot unsafe dot send packet and objective sue sue super next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the scoreboard display so scoreboard display equals display equals new scoreboard display and we're going to go and just say display set position and now for the position of the scoreboard you have a couple options right so what you can do is you can either set the display as zero which would be a list one to be on the sidebar or two below a player's name so we are going to actually go ahead and set this to be byte one because we want it on the sidebar 
and then we're going to go ahead and set the display that set name this is your scoreboard id so test and then again we're just going to go ahead and say player dot unsafe dot send packet and we're going to send the display packet and now the next thing and the very last thing is the scoreboard score and score i just want score equals a new scoreboard score and then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and say score dot set item name and now this can be so the item name is basically what you want it to show up as right so the value so we can just say you can really say anything here so we're going to say um hearts or health we'll just do health and then we'll say score dot set value and then we'll say player dot get uh, can we get their health from here? I don't know if we can actually. Yeah, we might not be able to. So we'll just change this to, uh, I don't know, random. And then we'll just set it as one. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set the score name. Set score name. Just put this as the same ID as before. And we need to set the action. So score dot set action. And this is going to be another byte. And we are going to put zero there. So for the action, you can either have zero or one. Zero is going to be to create or update. And one is going to be to remove. So just so you know. And then all we have to do is just go ahead and say player dot unsafe dot send packet and score. So now if we go ahead and export this and we go ahead and close that server down go ahead and get it back up bungee start bungee and if we go ahead and join <coughs> or not and if we go ahead and join there we go and if we do slash score you can see there youtube random and one now you can be really creative with this however you want um, so kind of just pick and choose if you're using information from say like a redis database or mysql or mongodb uh, you can Transfer over all the players information from just the bungee server and that way you don't have to recreate a scoreboard every single time uh, For every single plugin and every single player in each server You can just do it on the main server and it'll be pulled from there. So you might need to add a little bit more RAM to your Bungie Cord server uh, if you are going to be doing the scoreboard and depending how complex your scoreboard is and how much it updates, you might need to add more RAM uh, just to keep things running smooth there. Uh, but yeah, so that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.